This is the book of um, Second Ezra is chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 14 and it reads, Woe to the world and them that dwell. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to God. Loyam, wa Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahushai ba Hashem. I'm going say double honor to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim. Across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwaf, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning, Lord, willingly this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, subscribing to the truth to you. I say Shalom. Your brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shem El Shai. This lesson is in regards to um, this article I seen on RT um, showing you again the times we're in. It says over 100 police officers injured during French Labor Day protest. And that's just bringing to light the scripture I just brought out, 2nd Ezra 15. Where it says, um, they shall not regard their kings nor, or princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're not um, going to regard the authorities. I know um, scripture talks about um, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the, it's like it, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And you have a lot of mourning going on around the, on, on the earth right now. So, you know, um, we're coming into violent days. You know, it talks about in the last days in the book of Second Timothy, which I'm just going to get. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1, and it reads, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So when you go into that word perilous, it basically breaks down the dangerous, difficult, fierce. It's <coughs> like Calypsos. Calypsos. G5467. So um, the, in the last days, the, the days will be the scriptures talk about it in the last days. The days will be evil. Evil, Eve meaning time, ill meaning bad, bad times. Because you got people struggling. Um, everything is, um, you know, everything is um, just, 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 you know, everybody's more selfish. Everybody's more um, standoffish. Everybody's more cutthroatish. <laughs> you know, they, um, you know, so, you know, these all basically play a a, 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 a factor in this being or the times being more dangerous so I'm going to bring out a little bit of this article a couple of scriptures popped in my mind so Lord willingly this is edifying and it reads um, over 100 police officers injured during French Labor um, Day protests and it's just showing you the scene um, fair use, fair use, fair use um, so it says violent clashes erupted across the country as part of the continuing demonstrations against controversial pension reforms. These people are standing up to the fact that they, um, you know, because you got different things that people are upset about, you know, um, what's going on in it, the land of Israel um, with basically um, the freedom of speech and choice where, you know, they're banning you reading out the scriptures yet and still you got people that are saying that these are the people of the most high God. <laughs> How are these the people of the most high God that they don't want you read out the book that's supposed to be their book? And the people of that, at that, it says almost 300 protesters were arrested during massive French Labor Day demonstrations against controversial pension reforms on Monday. More than 100 police officers were injured during the unrest, according to local authorities. French Interior Minister Gerald, Gerald Darmanian said on Monday that police had detained a, a total of 291 people nationwide. 111, which is funny, or 111 of whom were, because you know these devils play with numbers, of whom were arrested in Paris. He noted that at least 108 officers had been wounded, a figure he described as, as a figure he described as extremely rare for a protest on May 1st. In the French capital alone, a total of 25 officers were injured, with one suffering serious burns to the face and hands after being hit by a Molotov cocktail, the minister said. 
Darmanian put the total number of people who attended protests across the country at 782,000. However, the CT the CGT trade union disputed this figure, claiming that almost 2.3 million people took to the streets nationwide. So basically, and that's the scripture because you've got the, um, you know, these um, Edomites that basically were protesting, fighting against um, the Edomites, that's the police officers. And those look like Edomites, you know. You know, they, they, of course, they, those cops are in... Um, Suits, but that's an Edomite. That's them Edomites. You know what I mean? Damn, <laughs> they think they're fucked up. Well, uh, maybe think of a scripture. It's the book of um. When I get it, I read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter nineteen, and verse nineteen. So like it. 19 and verse 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall ride up upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of evil. So lucky. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. You know, and it made me think about, um, although this is talking about modern day Egypt, which is America, Babylon the Great, because this, you know, Egypt basically goes into bondage and the children of Israel are still in servitude and bondage of these Edomites, you know. But, um, Made me think about it. it said the, the, the it said the um, idols shall melt. And um, just think recently in um, in um, what's that? In, in, in Disneyland, basically, it's a dragon exhibit or something with a dragon that basically just burnt up. You know, that's an idol. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just made me think about how the Lord said He's gonna make the idols melt. Um, but you know, although this scripture is speaking on what's going on. You know, over in France and whatnot, th this is going to take place all around the, the earth. It's going to hit Babylon, the great AKA America, and when it hits this place, it's going to be like none other. It says, verse 2 And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So, you know, you got to remember the scriptures talk about how um, the beast shall help the whore. So, you know, these different nations that are, you know, a part of NATO that's joined on the NATO are going to begin to hate America, a.k.a. the whore of Babylon the Great, you know, the whore that sit, up, sit up upon many waters, you know, they're going to hate this whore and they're going to, they're going to turn on her. And that's why it says, um, fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor. So, you know, your neighbor is usually your brother, a person of your tribe, you know. That's why the scriptures talk about uh, basically forgiving your neighbor, you know. That was one of the laws in the scriptures to the Israelites. Because you tend to stay around who, you know, who look like you, who are who are related to you, your people, you know. But um, this is everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So you know, these different uh, kingdoms like uh, France, Russia, you know, they're gonna they basically gonna turn on Babylon the Great and and and, and fuck this place up. That's all I wanted in that. Um, I read most of that. It says, um, while many demonstrators were peaceful, violent clashes erupted between police and demonstrators. Because that's the balance. You know, uh, people are getting fed up. It's, it's you know, um, it's going to get passed. Especially wait till when they can't feed their children. Wait till, the, you know, when things get so desperate where they really start attacking these people. You know, you've had citizens basically go after their politicians, their the, 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 the people in office. What do you think it's going to be like in America? And that's why they're... Um, unveiling and, and and rolling out those robotic um dogs because it's gonna be all chaos out here it says um and demonstrators in some locations according to footage shared on social media pro protesters threw pro projectiles and pro petrol bombs at police who responded by using water cannons and tear gas so that ain't that ain't even regular violence they they throw a shit that could really harm you they throw a projectiles and, and, and petroleum bombs or petrol bombs the violence was condemned by the French authorities, with, but they don't give a fuck about what the authorities think. With Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne saying that while Labor Day was a moment of responsible mobilization and commitment, the scenes of violence on the sidelines of the processions are all the more unacceptable. Meanwhile, Darmanian claimed the violence had been fueled by far-left groups known as the Black Blocs. Ain't that something? You know, pushing the narrative, the Black Blocs, huh? I ain't about to go look into him now. Maybe the Lord willingly later. He said, 
Police had faced extremely violent thugs who came with one objective to kill cops and attack the property of their uh, to kill cops and attack the property of others in Paris. Lion and Nate said, "France has been reveling Salakia. France has been reveling, reeling from massive protests for several months, which were triggered by French President Emmanuel Macron's plan to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64 in order to ease the burden on the nation's finances. Because <laughs> everybody's broke." So uh, at the end of the day, the scriptures talk about, you know, it's going to be violence in the last day. I, I brought that out. You know what I mean? Nothing but violence. You know, violence is going to happen to these uh, two thirds and these heathens. Violence is going to be um, acting on those that fear the Lord. That's in Second Ezra chapter 16. Is we also in the time of judgment. It's the book of um, Matthew chapter 24. And I'm going to start at verse um, 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, so like it, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. It's going up to verse 21, but it reads, um, Uh, verse Matthew 24 and verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be second Ezra chapter 14 is talking about evils um, greater than what have been seen is going to uh, be coming in these times and you just you read a precept for there shall be great tribulation you know so we about to come into a time of massive violence uh, you know there's no new thing under the sun. In the book of Genesis, it talks about, um, you know, um, this is the book of Genesis chapter 6 and verse um, 11. And it reads, the earth was, Salaki, the earth also was corrupt before the Most High and the earth was filled with violence. And the Most High looked upon the earth and behold, it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And you've seen that now. Verse 13, and the Most High said unto Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So basically, it was a time of great destruction because the earth was polluted, man polluted themselves, so the Lord judged the world then, and we're going through the same thing coming now, you know, with this whole fourth industrial revolution, you know, man, you know, this devil wants to pollute man again by, you know, basically getting everybody to basically be subjected to taking this all you know so you could be a part of his system and that's the main reason why the most high gonna really judge this place you know the scriptures talk about how the sins reached on to the most high to the heavens so yeah be ready for great judgment you know you're gonna see more and more judgment you know i just experienced some judgment for real you know what i mean and, you know uh at the end of the day so you know, I just pray that the Most High keep me, sustain me, and, you know, forgive me for anything that I did that was offensive to him. And please, Baba Kishah, Baba Kishah, Baba Kishah, do not take this truth away from me. Because, I mean, that's fear of the Lord when you know that you, the Lord can just take that truth away from you. But those that are his, that are the Most High, you know, they're going to be protected. It tells you that in the book of um, Psalms, chapter 91, because, you know, Great miseries is coming, but those that abide in the Yahweh Shem Yahshah shall be protected. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91. I'm going to just read a couple of verses. 90, Psalm 91 and verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This is one of those comforting scriptures. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. Verse 3. Surely he will... Salaki, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walk up in darkness, nor for the pestilence that walk up in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. God. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because the, the just, the righteous, 
the true believers are going to basically, you know, the, the elect are going to be up on those chariots and they're going to see the destruction of this place along with the two thirds and the heathen. So um, with all that being said, you know, we coming into some, you know, some extraordinary times. And I pray y'all about to watch over all the hopeful elect and all the sincere believers and their families. Um, so with that, I'm going to end the lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to God. Lord, you're like Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem. That's what I'm I say double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwat, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners. Um abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations but subscribing to the truth to you i say shalom if i didn't say shalom to my elders and my elder apostles the elders of the great millstone um and all the elders throughout the camps that um you know being great examples to the younger brethren out there i want to say shalom until next time i'm able to come another lesson I say shalom shalom shalom